Hello and welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Today we're going to be talking about our other two sons, Ra and Horus, as the Egyptians called them. The Hopi called them the blue and red kachinas. Ra is the blue kachina and Horus is the red kachina. <clears throat> now this Alaskan uh, on, on uh, Grumpy Moose camera uh, has an MRI overlay on it used for looking at auroras our northern lights hence why it's placed in Alaska but <clears throat> a byproduct that of that is the MRI is that it will show us magnetic signatures in the camera as well uh, I'm just kinda waiting for it to come around this is nighttime get ready to come in the morning it's gonna shift back to the tenth no, it does that in the middle of the night, but as you'll see right here, daytime, we have two signatures here, and uh, magnets don't flare. So we're not looking at a lens flare. This is a magnetic overlay. And the two bot diamonds, I'll show you in a second when it comes back around. But this nighttime part is important as well. This is the second part. And this is the moon. We have this light over here, and you can see it here. That's Ra. That's one of our three sons. And Eric's talked about this video several times. But I wanted to just explain it all in more detail. Now we got this back, and you just can't pause this. So this diamond is Horace's magnetic signature, and this little diamond behind is the sin signature of our sun according to this MRI camera now the big diamond has got big holes for because it's encompassing it's all its planets just like our solar system now the nighttime side we got Ra and its light and the other sh images Eric will show shows a signature but we don't get that here because it's too cloudy this is the last images you can see on this camera when they shut it down in 2017. I would love to have this camera still functioning. I even emailed them about trying to get it working, but no response. So, Horace's signature set or soul, our sun signature here. Um, like I said, it's a magnetic overlay, so there's no lens flaring. Uh, we'll go over, let it hit nighttime one more time. And here we've got down at the bottom, we've got the moon rising. And we have the light over here. And there is a small uh, city over here, but this, this was watched and observed for over three years. So we know that it's not just light pollution. It's just there's the last image that I can personally show you. This is it. It's a 24-hour time lapse. And um, it's the best I can do personally for you uh, if you want to see more you can go to Eric's Facebook page and he has all his images of this for the last for three years before they shut down this camera so I uh, just wanted to explain that to you uh, how why this is one proof an example of our trinary sun system that we live in and all the effects we're seeing on the planet now are, is not from planet Nibiru or climate change or it's, the, it's because we live in a trinary system and Ra and Horus as I like to call them they have returned and they're here now and soon we're gonna see see it with our own eyes rather than just magnetic signatures because that's how we track them and because it's the best way it's court admissible it's magnetic signatures just like your fingerprints they're unique and that's also energy flow as well why you have fingerprints it's how the energy leaves your body because every every magnetic signature in the universe is unique down to the DNA level so that's why it's court admissible have a good day.